But we've slowed down. What's happened? More delays? How shocking. Hey, Oliver, what a surprise! Namaste, Oliver. Nice to find you still alive. McManiac, Aouda, what are you doing here? I'm guessing it has something to do with acting. You are a sharp bloke. I was on my way back to Scotland for a time, and then I met Miss Ayauda coming back from a small village called Holwood. No, Hollywood, my Magdalene. The Americans stole the idea from us. Oh, yes, sorry. Hollywood, that's it. Anyway, she met a movie producer with a big project there. Big budget, loaded with effects. Yes, Mr. Steven Spielberg, A big ego, yet a fascinating man. But not nearly as fascinating as you, pussy love. <laughs> yes, of course. Few are. I'm sure I could make movies for far less. So, here we are. Aouda, what about Ravish? Ravish? Oh, uh, yes, well, yes. I, I asked him to choose between the elephant and me and, well, no woman can compete with that. Mm, yeah, no surprise there. Anyway, I need to find the Commodore to find out why the train is slowing down. Don't you know? It's all over the train. The Commodore saw a herd of bison and decided to organize a hunt from the wagon windows. It should be great. Was he love? Hunting is horrible. Unless, of course, it's in a big budget movie. I played the wife of a hunter once. Ah, hunting from a train. Not very sporting. We have to stop it, Oliver. You are a little rogue, aren't you? You're easy to manipulate. I like that in a man. I'm going to find an answer, but wait for me. The only way is to stop the passengers from seeing the bison. Only how to do that? Think, Oliver, think. All right, I'm waiting. What's the plan? Ladies and gentlemen, please stay calm. Everybody will have a weapon, and the WTO is offering you their last few heavy machine guns and dynamite. Let me organize my hunt, please. Now, who wants an 88 mortar? I can't wait until atomic bombs are invented. That'll really put the fun back into hunting. It seems like we've had a change of leadership. And this looks a little overkill to me. an upgrade to this train as well since the last time we were uh, aboard. something to divert smoke on the coaches. Then nobody will see the bison and the hunting party will be cancelled. Guns and moving trains are such an ugly combination. This area did seem rather redundant, but now we have an explanation why. come as no surprise that there is no thought process behind this. No explanations for what we're doing. We are just doing it. 
for some reason, there's this loudspeaker right here. I'm not sure if it was there before, but for some reason, Oliver knew it was there. It's nice that these two people met and fell in love. I'm sure that we will get some sort of happy ending. Well, I assume so. They might go for a comedy ending. Well, I say comedy. With quotes. During my practice run of this segment, there was some more money sitting right here, but it seems to have disappeared. Never mind, we don't need it. Hurrah! This doesn't seem to be working, there's no smoke coming up this end. Hurrah! All right, I sit corrected. So the plan is to asphyxiate everybody, so no one can do any hunting at all. I just need a little more time to figure out where the smoke is coming from. I doubt it was the bison themselves, but maybe bison sympathizers. Commodore, you'd better cancel the hunt while you're looking for the mechanical failure. The bisons will be long gone. They're nomadic creatures, you know. You should put the train back to its normal speed. What, you again? Let me guess, you're a bison hugger. Good grief, the Commodore of the airship? Commodore, can't you keep a job? Yes, my job is new, but my luck is still the same. Bad, I blame you. You must be some sort of trouble magnet. I swear I will not speed up the train. I will stop the smoke and dispatch people to bring back the bison. Ladies and gentlemen, rest assured, you will have your hunt. Now, who wants a semi-automatic rifle? I think we have a few grenades on board for the business class passengers. Well, he's just thrown down the gauntlet, and I'm gonna accept it. What's happening, Oliver? The Commodore is refusing to cancel the hunt. He's as stubborn as he is dull-witted. Okay then, come to the engine room with me. We'll find a way to make the train go faster, and Iota will take care of the Commodore. None can resist her charm. Yes, that's true. My fan club is growing daily. My dear friend. Can we get a move on, please? Aye, right, right. You're a pushy bloke. In fact, I'm returning to Scotland. I'll take some post of my family for the giraffe's fun there. You remember? How could you forget? Hmm. I can imagine this cool Nessie with the Niagara Falls attraction. Wonderful! But the problem is that she's so shy. Hmm. We can even shoot a blockbuster horror movie with all these ghosts and Aouda as a frightened Raja daughter. Hmm. I'm speaking to you about film because maybe you'll be interested in investing in it. Movies are a great investment. Now, focus. Please, we have to find a speed control system. Okay. Thinking. Consoles. We've improved your train. A 
Not only 100 pounds, please. You've ruined everything. You've destroyed the control panel system. We can't stop the train. This is a disaster. I'm not paying you more than 50 pounds. Calm down. You yanks. You go crazy about any little thing. And our bill is non-negotiable. Ah, oh, this can't be good. I just found out that the bridge between Losertown and Portland has collapsed, and this bridge is right in our path. Oh, I miss my nice safe airship filled with tons of explosive gas. Good grief, maybe I am bad luck. The only way to save the passengers is to separate the engine wagon from the train, and you'll have to sacrifice yourself. But that's okay, because everything is your fault. Of course we accept the responsibility for our mistake, whatever the cost. Isn't that true, McManiac? McManiac? Yes, yes. Whatever you say. But leave poor Iota all alone? That would be cruel. When she wins an Emmy, her paydays will double. Plus, I've started writing material for her now. I'll go back to take care of the passengers and relieve their fears by telling them how you will sacrifice yourself. Goodbye, Oliver. You're not that bad a guy after all. For a bison hugger. We'll never forget you. Maybe I'll name a character in a movie after you. We could call him Oliver Twist. I like the way that sounds. What? Am I dreaming? I will not fail so close to my goal. Be a real hero. Why? Break these cables, the cranes are blocked. I'll go later. We'll go where later? Yes, I have to break these cables, the cranes are blocked. They used to set up. The problem I have at the moment is that there is no green highlight on here to say where exactly that we need to hit. But we need to aim for the middle that's just here. Although... Oh, there we go. What do you know? It works. Playing the stuntman, I see. Actually, I wish I had a stunt double. Rose, is this small airship yours? Yes, it's best to observe a bird from the air. Chanto was letting his eyes wander. He saw you on the roof of the train. You seem to be in a bit of trouble, so I told him to help. I'm glad I found you again, Oliver. John! Will this a rope ladder come back on its own? I don't think so. I'll get right onto it now, darling. Are you going to England? Not us. I have already catalogued all the birds there. But the Leviathan is. We have a deal with the new Commodore. We can refuel on the board. You can go on board as well. Fantastic. Thanks, Rose. Oh, and you too, John. Let's go! John, up, up! You aren't asleep, are you? We're off, darling, dear.
I'm on board the Leviathan. Thank you, Rose, for once you were actually helpful. Attention! Attention! A storm... <coughs> Strong 235 just came right on us to avoid all... <coughs> danger. We have to land urgently. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It will be a simple maneuver. Whoops. some peace and quiet. Well, it's nice to know that Rose and John are still together, but I think I'd rather deal with a broken train and a broken bridge than speak to them again. Yes, I know. I'm very sorry, but I'm busy. So am I! I have to get to the northeast of Manchuria as soon as possible! Lovely. Goodbye. Wait! You're a member of the G-Pack! I know it! We need to find a solution together as brothers in legs of the kilt! If you have any bright ideas, now is the time to tell me. If not, I'll find a solution on my own. Actually, I can do better than that. I have a solution. It's not common knowledge, but there is a machine called the Cloud Killer on this airship. They were going to call it the Storm Stopper, but marketing convinced them to go with a more dynamic name. It's quite complicated, but I know how to work it because I... Please, just tell me how to work it. Later. Find four of our colleagues in the engine room. I'll catch up with you there. I suppose it wouldn't do any good to ask why. Of course it wouldn't. Actions are louder than words. There was a mistake in the dialogue. We're not going to find four colleagues in the engine room. We need to find four members of GPAC scattered around this airship and then send them to the engine room. The engine room is at the bottom of the ship. Well, practically at the bottom of the ship. So we may as well start from the top and work our way down. Seems like we're now behind. Oh dear. I thought that we left the train with a green light. Dear passengers, you can now learn a new language, Cave Troll Without Efforts, proposed by Gragaground from the Moria. First lesson is free. Following lessons will cost you one T-bone steak each. Oh, I forgot about the announcer. Hey, g packs brother, go to the engine room quickly. What, what? Now? But I already ordered me meal. Three liters of beer, one whiskey, and a sausage. What a pity. I'm sure they will hold it for you. Hey, G-Pack's 
brother. Go to the engine room, quickly. Hey, g packs brother, go to the engine room, quickly. Aye, aye, sir. Now it's time to receive a thank you. Ah, the little Colossus Pirate! I've been looking for you! Ah, the ship, Commodore. So you've managed to change your transportation. You guys in the WTO certainly are a fickle lot. Yes, and again I find you sabotaging my ship! Is this personal? Did I offend you in some way? Or are you just a general madman? A terrorist for hire? What? I'm not any of those things. I'm just a nephew trying to help his dear, slightly offbeat uncle. That's what they all say. You were the one who exploded this cloud killer contraption. Fix was right. This man is dangerous. Lock him in his cabin. Fix? Not him again. Never believe anything he tells you. He has issues. I don't think his father paid enough attention to him as a child. None of your dime store psychology. I get enough of that from my crew. Fix wired us a warning about your terrorist activities. He also accuses you of stealing an important document in San Francisco and littering. Rubbish. Ah, so you admit to the littering. Take him away. Uh-oh. Your health isn't improving, huh? Just like on the boat. I have air sickness. So what? It doesn't make me any less of a man. Take him away. Uh -oh. Possible to pass by the door. I need to find another way. Hmm. Ah, there we go. 
go. I wonder if Rose and John still have their airship available to us. Although, well, it's our only option, really. Needs must and all that. John, they're coming back down to Earth. We have to go. <laughs> Just once, I'd like to be the man in this relationship. <laughs> what? Nothing, darling. Let's go. Whew, we're out of there. Where should we leave you, Oliver? Well, someplace safe would be a pleasant change. There's a boat on the radar that seems to be going to England. We can drop you there if you like. You can try your luck. Great idea. And leave us... alone. John! Are you quite insane? Stop it! Do you understand? I'm a lady. Plus, there are birds to watch. But, darling, 